Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of yet another Iron Man series. So this is gonna be number 10 episode, I should forgot it. Hmm, a Jubilee, so awesome. So, number 10 episode, and I'm gonna be doing Tribal Totem a little bit, a little bit quiet because I don't wanna wake up everybody in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get a whooping if I will. So, I'm scared for that, try to not do it. So, we're gonna be doing a quest right now, Tribal Totem. After the troll romance, and after that, I guess the wanted. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Okay, so Tribal Totem, really easy quest, pretty fun, and we're gonna help this... I mean, uh, dude, uh, not trying to be racist, but we're gonna help him get some stuff stolen. So, without further ado, let's go and do this quest, shall we? Yeah, man, pretty much done with the quest. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, scared of whooping, so yup, you have, I did. What a surprise. One quest point, 1.7k thieving XP and swordfish. More correctly, 1.7k and so on. Yeah, no chit chat, I guess. You can now pickpocket somebody. The more I create this videos, the more I live stream, the more I see I am becoming some kind of douchebag persona. So I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so right now we'll be doing Troll Romance quest. I did this quest before. Seems pretty awesome quest. So you know what? Why not to do it? So, yep. Without further ado, let's go and do the troll romance, I guess. And after that, wanted, I guess. Or any other quest, we'll see. So yeah, let's go. Mm, yeah, man, I think I did say that I'm gonna do a troll romance quest, but the problem is why I don't do the quest. It's actually because I need to get a maple log. I have the requirements, but I need a maple log for just do that quest. And that is pretty horrible, I guess. Okay, so once it's quest, pretty much done with it, let's just set it in, ha ha, okay, that's kinda awkward. Let's not quote it, and let's proceed with doing the quest. This quest is pretty awesome because it gives like 5k slur XP, and I'm pretty sure it should give me like 15 at least. And I could almost do animal magnetism, but after this quest, as you can see, one quest point, let's see how much we got, 20, nice! I can actually go right now and do the animal magnetism, but I kind of feel right now and going and getting like 40 mining because I really want to do the watchtower quest and they're gonna give me 40. So yeah, I better lay off the animal magnetism even though it's the first quest and the members obviously up the top, but I just want to get the 40 mining and yep, do the quest called the watchtower. So yep, without further ado, I go and get a 40 and when I'm getting the 40, I'm doing the wash tower quest, so let's go and get the levels, shall we? And actually I guess four quest points, so that's the main reason why I wanna do that soon, I guess. Yeah. Hey mates, pretty much done with the quest and wash tower quest I guess will be complete. I love this quest, just quest just man. As I said millions of times, times can't stress enough how I like to do the quest that I actually did before because it's a lot more fun when you actually know and anticipate something that you at least have an idea on what to do even though I still use freaking quest helps even on Cook's assistant quest still makes it million sounds more easier. So 4 quest points, watch tower teleport spell, 15k magic experience and 5k coins. Magic experience really good and 4 quest points that's what we are here I guess. 48 magic pretty good. So right now we'll be doing a quest called making history but I need 40 smithing. From first when I heard it I kind of was depressed because you know Quest gives like free quest points and I was like, damn, she been out the way and I actually remembered one awesome way of getting the smithing without losing a bank and it actually gonna benefit me towards ranged XP. So hey, let me get 40 smithing and it's gonna be pretty fun and fast. So hey, let's go. <laughs> yeah boys, pretty much done with the quest. Let me just turn in and obviously get free quest points. Really easy quest, finally got the 40 smithing. I don't have an idea why did I need 40 smithing, but... I needed it, so I guess just maybe for the queue or something like that. So free quest points, one key per XP, one key crafting XP, and 750 coins using Chanted Key all Runescape to get that stuff Mjolnir or something like that. I think that's from the Swedish or like Wiccan culture. I don't have an idea, but something on the lines of that. So right now we're going and doing the quest called the Eye of Gold Free for it. I need five construction, so I'm gonna get five construction really easy, I guess. Just gotta buy a house. The cheapest one, I guess, and just use some planks and make planks, I guess, to make a table. And that's pretty much it. And after that, I will have 156 quest points. And after that, I'm gonna do an out of Merikyu. I think I won't need to do any of those freaking saving, freaking building that freaking Shades of Morden. 
And after that I will need one more quest and that will be I'm pretty sure animal magnetism for which I will need to get Mifrelax. So without further ado, let's go and get the five construction and when we get it, let's go and do the half go for I guess, shall we? Hey, Mace, as you can see I'm actually right now kind of getting accents instead of doing eye of gopher so funny thing is i actually thought i'm just gonna get five construction and do the eye of gopher quest but then seeing that i need also a mud rune so i actually mined some ores i guess not ores but some essence i guess or jesus made some runes you know for 30 rune crafting got the mud rune and i just <laughs> i didn't even make the mud rune i checked if i really need a mud rune on a i didn't check it like anyways i checked if i need a mud rune even though i didn't and I saw that I need a maple log also. And for that I need 45 obviously wood cutting. And obviously for that I need to get stuff. And as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap are you kidding me? Jesus Christ this is only the second kill. First kill I got a Mephrolax and right now I got a Runex. Gee I'm going back. That's it. RNG Jesus goes back to getting myself some you know willow log. So right now we'll be getting just simply 45 we're cutting and just gonna get a 45 and obviously we'll need also maple logs for troll romance quest so do that instead of the in search of miracle or stuff like that because i'm pretty sure you need to do all that fixing stuff and that freaking shades of mortar or something like that in anyways troll romance i have go free and animal magnetism and then we're gonna do the grinding part of desert treasure so rng jesus got these two items and two kills let's go and Get them levels again, shall we? Yeah, man, pretty much done with the quest of Gofri. Pretty much done. So it actually took more than I thought will. I needed to get mud rune, then I needed to get water talisman because in conjunction to make a mud rune, and for the first time failed, then I went and got it. Pretty slow, I guess, wasted some time on it. But still got 39 range, and I need 40. For Temple of Icov, so it's still that gonna be beneficial for me in any way. So 12k magic XP, 2.5k work on XP, 6k runecraft and XP, and stuff like mysterious crystal seed and 250 construct. Come on, man, go give me more 49, 25, and 7. And obviously, the small crystal seed that we're gonna make into a crystal sauce. So right now, we'll be going and doing a troll. Not the Straw Stronghold, Troll Romance Quest. I said I'm gonna do that in search of Miracue, but I'm still scared that I have to build something in it, and I don't really know how to do that quest, so I better off go and do Troll Romance Quest. I have the Maple Log, I also got 45 wood cutting because I also need a Maple Log for this quest, so yeah, they're always misleading, you know. And anyway, I'm gonna have Maple Log, have the Maple Log, and go right now, I'm doing that Troll Romance Quest. And after that, Animal Magnetism, and after that, you know what time it is. Get them grinding for the desert treasure skill. So, without further ado, I'm going and doing that quest, shall we? Yeah, boys, pretty much done with the quest. Just finishing the troll romance. So, this quest gonna give me like what? 8k agility XP. So, that's awesome. Seven gems. Wait, is it? Oh, no, it's. So, it's my calculations are wrong. So, seven gems, two quest points, 8k agility XP, and 4k strength. That's pretty good. Agility 40. And strength almost leveled. So right now the last quest actually faking the sound with the voice crack to make you guys believe. But in all seriousness, last quest to do to actually start doing the main quest line quests that are Monkey Madness, obviously Temple of Ikov and Desert Treasure. So right now I'll go and do I guess Animal Magnetism and after that the grind will begin. So yeah and the grind will be only like 40 range for now. So hey! Let's go and do the <coughs> What's crack? I'm sorry. Let's go and do the uh, chat, 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 animal magnetism. Let's go and do it, shall we? Yeah, man. Pretty much done with the quest. I actually kind of make my videos, you know, render them. And I kind of actually see how much time I'm repeating. Pretty much done with the quest. And yeah, with the voice crack, I guess. Maybe not. One key crafted XP Fletch and Slur. 2.5 key work on XP. One quest point average device. That was kind of fast turn in. Got the item. Pretty fast given away, I guess if that makes any sense, hopefully it doesn't. And I completed the quest. And right now we're officially, right now officially pre-made, I guess, to do the official quest line because we did a quest just for the occasion of getting quest points. And right now we're gonna do the quest that actually will be in the recipe for disaster list, which will be the first one. Is the I don't know why I just kinda made it longer, even though I know it. it's a temple of Ico. For that I need 40. 40 range and after that quest we guys gonna be doing with the white scrap monkey man and white scrap white scrap monkey madness so let's go and do the temple of Ikov but first let me get 40 range so hey 
Let's get them stats again, shall we? Okay, so miss, right now we'll be just a little bit explaining about the saga of the quests I'm about to do, so... Obviously, that's a treasure, you know, Temple of Ikov seems I only need to get items and stuff like that, you know? But I'll find out, I found out one thing, you know, when you do <laughs> things on Iron Man, you know? Obviously, requirements of stats is just the one thing, but sometimes the items that you need for the quest is bigger than the requirements. As example, for Desert Treasure, I need to get 12 magic logs. To get 12 magic logs, I need to get 75 woodcutting. That's like what? That's like million and something XP. That can take me over like 30, 40 hours to get. Also, Temple of Ikov, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go do that quest easily. But that quest also requires at least you longbow. At least you shortbow, you longbow. Doesn't matter, you bow, you know. And for that, I need also 70 fleshing. So obviously, those two quests are gonna be left till the end because, as I said, first I wanna do the quests and then the grinding part. So as you can see, the requirements a lot uh, smaller, smaller, can't pronounce stuff, smaller than actually the items needed. So that's kinda awkward. That's actually still requirements, but yeah. So right now I'll just go and do the monkey madness quest, obviously the one that I can do, I hope, I actually don't remember if there's anything that I can't get, so hopefully I have everything, so yeah, we'll see about that, and after that I guess get the least amount of required quests, such as, there's only 5 quests actually left, Heroes Quest, Temple of Ico, Fabulous Quest, Monkey Madness, there's a treasure, and you know, carry on with the recipe for disaster and get 75. <laughs> Oh man, there's a lot of stats to get, actually 75 wood cutting, 70 cooking, so let's leave that to the end. But right now, let's go and do Monkey Madness and let's hope there's items that I actually have or can get. So, yeah, let's go and do the Monkey Madness, I guess. Mmm, they're gonna be cool. Yeah, boy. Yeah, man. Just completed the quest. Actually, why don't I always say completed? I didn't even complete it. Just pretty much just completing right now and I actually died. I actually teleported off the, like, where do you kill the demon? I teleported out and I got tracked. If I would have died in a couple of chaos runes, but I had like 4k air runes, like 2k mine runes, I was like, Jesus Christ, and I, 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 and I had like a monk rose and an unholy, an holy symbol, so I guess that was just was not fully Jesus, I guess, but in any way, I died and I'm right now crying for how much money I wasted. Anyways, free quest points, 10k coins, and free diamonds, and obviously we can right now use... The dragon skimmy. So right now I got 162 quest points and I'm gonna be doing obviously a lot more quests than it is. So I got also to do like Heroes Quest, Sample of Ico, Family Quest, and Monkey Man. I actually did Monkey Madness, so and Desert Treasure obviously. So Desert Treasure requires 75 woodcutting, Heroes Quest requires some stats, Sample of Ico requires Yu Longbow, Family Quest needs 59 magic. So I think I'm gonna do right now Heroes Quest and gonna get the stats because the grind. It's right now inevitable, I just cannot do anything without the grind. So as I said, grind is to the last and right now it's the grind. So I'm gonna go and grind those skills right now I guess. But for this episode, I guess it's the end. So thank you everybody for watching this episode of yet another Armin series. Don't forget to tune in next time because I have BBC I guess. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.